to just establish this month some foundations of what we have to do and what we are going to look forward to this year as a church and even as individuals, no, ng mga anak sa Ginoo. Dapat nato masabdan, malay nato ang foundations unsay importante nga mga butanga dapat nato buhaton. And uh, receiving God's best. We sometimes have a wrong concept that ang Ginoo bitaw whenever we offer something to the Lord, mura bitaw malkan sika. No, even sa area sa finances, so sayo, Lord, I no Sabot man ng ginoo, no? Nang kinanglan ko. Ragana bido? And we sometimes, no? Most times, we have a wrong concept of that. And the thing is, ang dili kasabot, kasagaran kita. Wala ta kasabot that it's, that it's for us. God desires from, no? Ang kasing-kasing yun sa ginoo, ang heart sa ginoo, is for you to experience His best. Amen? He has already said that. Ingon siya, He is faithful. Ingon mo dapat, He is faithful. In Ephesians, ingon siya, He is faithful. And He's gonna do what He said He would do. Ingon siya, He is able no, to accomplish. He is more than able, exon, to do immeasurably, exceedingly, beyond you can ask or imagine. And that is through His power that is at work in us. No, say, Huwag mo commit ko sa ginoo, magpaabot ko sa time sa ginoo, niya, ihatag niya ang, ang, ang lalaki nga dili na ako ganahan. Come on. Wrong kayo atong concept sa ginoo, naguna-una, tagaan, tag dili na ito ganahan. Hello? Mano nga, chill lang, chill. Trust God. <laughs> Amen? Hello? Bye, musta yung mga gwapa? Oh. <laughs> Butan. <laughs> diba, gwapa ba? Uh, saktog trabaho, brad. Ako, gsildo. <laughs> Pero we have to understand, God's desire for His people is the best. Hello? Amen? The reason why He... he, he no, gigi single out niya ang Israelites exon because he wanna display the God's intention from the very beginning is to display his glorious power and to display the distinction of the people who serve God and of the people who do who do not. Ingon siya, I will make a distinction between those who serve me, between those who honor me, and between those who do not. That's why Ingon siya, I, no, he took out the people of Israel out of Egypt and ang intention good sa Ginoo sa people of Israel is for them to, to, no, to possess the land flowing with milk and honey. The best land. But don't say response sa mga tao nga gikan sa Egypt. Egypt is just fine. No, they have sibuyas there. No, they have koan, no, good spices and the food is free. Free ka dyan. Free ba nang kung trabaho ka, kinanglang ka bunalan? Pugsanay ang trabaho? Forced labor? Hello? Right? Pero nalim, usay, ingon na na itong journey ba? When, when we go through process, usay malimta na to that God's intention for us is to experience a land flowing with milk and honey. The best. Naman dapat best. That's why, No? In order to receive God's best, dili po ngawa tayo buhaton. We plan ahead. Ingon si Paul, no, do, be wise. Don't live as fools. Be wise. No, we, we have to plan ahead. And uh, no, above all else, let us prioritize God. And when we prioritize God, it doesn't mean uh, first lang siya. No, He is our all. Buti pa sa butana, apil, tanan. Finances ni mo, love life ni mo, apil. Apil bang ang ginoo sa love life? Kika sa garan, lumalab life ta, o sa ipadapli na itong ginoo, Lord, ako sa niya. No, importante, makasure, Lord. No. Napoy uban, sobrahan ka gwapo, o saan naman na, dagan naman kay kaguyab. Kuha ni pastor, kanang courtship ministry. Ah. Akong panguyaban, pastor, niya, ah, 
Dan una ko sa simbahan, Pastor, unya pag madala na, laang mangita na po ko glain. Himuon pa na tong excuse, usahay. Linya sa brebe, lederi be, kip. Hmm. <laughs> Joke lang. Prioritize God. Kano saan na to i-prioritize ang gino? Karon. Kano saan na to dapat tagaan ang panahon ang gino? Karon. We have to pursue God's agenda in order for us to receive God's best. So why do we settle for less nga na may best on tagayan na mang gino? Amen? Hello? Ayong settle. Pursue God's agenda. Agenda sa ginoo. No, ang intention sa ginoo sa itong kinabuhi. Amen? Ayon naman dapat God's best. No. Best sa ginoo. That's why we obey. That's why we follow the Lord. Kung, if you're dying, no, ang uban manuktok da yun. Ifragani. No. If you're dying, and if you know you're dying, and you're gonna die soon, <laughs> would you waste your time in things that would matter? I believe you will order your life, right? And pamili ng to ni mong dapat ibilin, sakto? Sakto? No? Oh, ito nang mambilin-bilin na nang uba, no? Nak, asang akong kamagawangan nga, anak? Naro ko, dad. Na, kinumdumig yun. Kining atong balay, kining yuta ayaw yun daw ni Baligya. Kining gigipuyan na to ayaw yun ni Baligya. Ingon ang anak tayo, nangabang raman ta. Kinsa mo ganing ayaw ni Baligya, kini ni ato. Mamilin-bili na ba? And, and, and you, would, you would give your best in everything. And someone in, 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 no, in the Bible... Knew that that he's about on the end of his life, and that person is Paul. He knew he would die, and he's gonna die soon. That's why he 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 wrote a letter to his his son in the faith, and who is so dear to him, and that is Timothy. He said, Timothy, this is how you live. No, Timothy man, no, or Tim, no, para social Tim. Uh, you know Tim? Sa ato, bisaya man dati mo This is how you should live your life. And, and through this, through his instruction, we will see Exxon. We, we claim that this year is going to be a divine momentum. No? Si, 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 si Paul, when he was, when he, know, he knew that he would die and, and no? Kabalo na siya ngayon in the end sa iyang ginabuhi. He, he gave this instruction to Timothy. Again, atong ginaklaim na this year is going to be our divine momentum. It's our year of, of uh, progress. It's our year of restoration. A year of redemption. A year of healing. Amen? No, healing physically. Healing exon emotionally. Panahon na ni nga makarecover, makamove on, ang wapaka move on. Amen? And then dapat move on na. Sayon ra man pag move on. Kato naman mo na ako, sayon ra kay pag move on. Dili na tas on. Yeah, simple gan. We claim that this, this is going to be our, the, the year will, where we will grow, we will multiply, a year will in, God will pour out His blessings for us to, to be a blessing to others. Amen? And you believe that? Pero dili na exon, automatic nga mo about. And through this instruction ni Paul, we will know tonight, no, how can we experience divine momentum this year? Ingon siya, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 8. Ingon siya, I solemnly urge you in the presence of God and in Christ Jesus, who will someday judge the living and the dead when He comes to set up His kingdom, preach the word of God. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. And Paul is establishing the reason. Nga no, ingon siya, for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. 
But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Ingon siya, ikaw timoy, kulang. Keep calm. <laughs> Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news. And fully carry out the ministry God has given you. And as for me, my life has already been poured out as an offering. The time of my death is near. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And I have remained faithful. And now the prize awaits me. The crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on the day of His return. And the prize is not just for me, but for all who eagerly look forward to His Appearing. What's, what's the connection? No? Paspasan ako. Number one, yung dapat na ito no? mabatunan and dapat na ito for us to be able to experience momentum and not just a, 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 a simple momentum but a divine momentum wherein your life will be attracted, no, will be attractive rather. No? And, 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 and the gospel is, the, the good news, the gospel is really evidence sa itong mata ko sa kakinabuhi. Can you believe that? If we claiming on that we have the good news the gospel it should reflect sa atong mata ko sa kakinabuhi dili kay nakasinati tas good news nagsige na noon tagabagsak ano man di naman magtuon salig naman i trust the lord <laughs> no salig na nakos ginuutanan no wala man sa grado <laughs> no no uh, people look at the outside appearance but god looks at the heart Maugani. The people that are looking at you, those outsiders, those who, 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 you know, those who need salvation, sa ilang kinabuhi, who needs to hear the gospel, they don't look at your heart. They look at your outside appearance. Attractive baka. Dili. No? At, atanawar ko na yung mong tapad. Kana mo yung dagway. <laughs> Ang uban kay Mordili kay Convince. <laughs> Na mo, mo reflect ang gospel exon Luke 16 16 ingon siya no in, in in the past before John the Baptist the law and the prophets are your guides Ang guia ninyo is the law and the prophet but you know what until John the Baptist the the message of Christ has been preached and everyone is eager to come in everyone Hello kanang ganahan sila nga invite ni mo Ganahan sila nga kanang naanimo maangkod sa nila. Sa panahon nga bag pa ang 7-11 sa Cebu, linyahan ang slurpee. Everybody is eager to come in. Ang sar man na ay sugar nga na ice. Murag, ako, wag yung gumagawa ng to kayo. Sa man eh, no? Slurpee na ay slurpo. <laughs> no? And then anyway, everyone is eager to come in. Kada na bago, no? Bago ni abot ang Jiko sa Cebu, linyahan. Everyone is eager to come in. Kami pa chill chill lang, lang. Mabuter ng panahon nga mamingaw na sila. Kami na say mamalit. Di mo na mahawa, <laughs> no? But ingon ana ang picture exon sa toa, no? When we have the gospel. But how can we experience that? Number one, ingon sa verse 3, ingon si Paul, time is coming when people will no longer to listen to sound and wholesome teaching. And I believe it has already come in our time. People no longer care about the truth about God's word. Pag maghisgot na ganit ka ginoo, they will shut down. And they thought it's boring. People will only hear no, God will bless you. God will no promote you. God will do this exceedingly, abundantly. <laughs> Pero pag mo na ganing obedience, ayo, ayo, sa ina ko anong blessed hope ay eh. discourage ko. Imbis magpreach si pastor ka na maka encourage. Sige naman lang kung igon. Sige ako niya pa dumugon. <laughs> Hello? Wala mo noon na dari, no? Wa na mo simba. Hindi na yung tapad may gani na agaroon. <laughs> Ikaw untay kipadungugan. <laughs> Ikaw untay kilibak. Anyway, 
No, ingon si Paul, time is coming when they will no longer listen to sound doctrine, to the truth. Unsa ilang gina desire? What their itching ears? No, kana na lang nindot sa dunggan, bahalag dili tinood basta nindot. No. Bahalag, no? Mag-post ko nag almost naghubo na basta daghag likes. Maghimo ani mga challenge 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 challenge. Kita na pugog bagong challenge karon uling na bud yan ang uling. Pagkaway hinungdan for the sake lang sa likes and shares. Time is coming uh, ang mga tao ganahan na lang sa like. And they will no longer su- listen to sound doctrines. Tingon si Paul, he established niya. Paul is telling Timothy, he needs to be prepared. You have to be prepared, my son. No, I urge you. In Christ, you have to be prepared. Buti ba sabot? No? We dapat igsuon, ma-uncover ma- na to ang purpose. Why? Nga no man. Sa gingong panako, last Sunday, nga no, nga nguban, daghan ka ayo, no? Sige, nagkasakitan, kay daghan na kay ex. Nga no man, wala kabalo, wala na discover ang why. Kung gipangita pa ni mong rason, nga no, why are you entering into that relationship? The first place, para lang na uyab Para lang you feel guapo, no? Kaya murag feeling ni mo, pangit kay ka, basta di ka kauyab. No? Ako nalayway uyab sa mong mga friends. Chill ka lang. Ang mga pangit, mag-unahay na sila. Ay, mag-delete ay tsuraan. Eh naman dapat, relax lang. Itsuraan ta. Amen? Galabi nag-single na. Amen? We have to uncover the purpose. Uncover the purpose. The why. Nga nung nagabuhat mong kuhan eh. Hello? In everything that we do, we need to know why. We have to have a correct reason why we do things. Ina mo dapat, correct reason. Ingon si Paul, time will come that people will no longer want to get involved in the things of God. And I believe in our time, it has already come. The question is, mula hutay baka, will you still prioritize God? Because if you haven't uncovered the purpose your purpose, your calling sa Gino, if you haven't uncovered the why, pag nitalikod na ang tanan, mo appeal you ka. Hello. Pero kung you, under, you uncover the why, you uncover the purpose God has called you, bisan pag mo talikod na tanan tungod kay kabalo ka on sa intention sa imong kinabuhi, you will remain. Amen. Magdali man ka, di man yung kuntis. Kuntis ba? No. Di man yung kuntis nga na yung kandidit number one. No. Kandidit number two. <laughs> di kuntis. No. Hello? Time will come when Christians, even Christians, the church, will become complacent. And it has already come. Time will come na mga tao, ganahan lang og blessing, dili ganahan mo ube. But ang pangunta na, will you still remain? Magpabilin ka when you uncover the purpose. Hello? So, sa tanan, no? not just in church, but everything yung mong ginabuhat. For example, sa relationship. Nga nang musulod mang kuha ng relationship? Nga nung mga yabang ko, uncover the purpose. Nga nung sugtun man ninako siya. Nga nung mga yabang ko anin niya. Andam na ba ko? Andam na ba siya? Andam na ba ming duha? <laughs> Hello. Welcome to evening service. Wala ni ganina. <laughs> Hello. Uncover the purpose. You know what? You will mess up. 
you will mess up your life. You will give in to temptation and you, you are prone to temptation and even no worst yung mga cases that you will pay the price if you haven't uncovered the reason. If you haven't had the correct reason, uncover the purpose. Nga nung magnegosyo ka, nga nung nagtrabaho ka, para madato o para mahimong panalangin. Kaya kung nagnegosyo ka para madato lang, no, wala, pwede ka mangilad, magnegosyo, makatukhang, no, para lang madato. Or kung tinarong usahay mong negosyo sa gula ni mong binuang, maligya agag tuyo sa gulag tubig. No? <laughs> ano bito? Kung nagtrabaho ka and ang imong gilong is kwarta lang and promotion lang, wow, kay pakialam sa mga tao na nagpalibot ni mo, imong mga co-worker, imong, wow, kay pakialam as long as you get the promotion. If sayop ang imong purpose. If you don't have a correct reason. Like natanan. Hello. If you haven't uncovered the purpose, bisan pag mag-serve ka sa Ginoo, active ka sa church, active ka sa unsa diha, mess up gihapon ta sa atong balay, wa gid nakabalo on say rason. Ang uban sa to, ang uban no, wala noon diri. Wa gihapon ka sa imbaron. Say, no, we, we claim to be Christians pero di ta masugo sa balay. Ang batan-on, di masugo. Nga naman, hugas <laughs> plato eh, mag dibo pa ko. Hmm? Hmm? Kung kabalo ka nga naka schedule sa church, buhat na daan yung chores. Hello? Mingaw na. Huwag na ko yung amigo. Hello? Uncover the purpose. Amen? So, tubagon po ni Nato, why are we doing the things that we're doing in church? Ang ginabuhat naman eh, because, no, God should not be just part of our lives, He should be our all. We're doing this because this is what God has called us to do. Hello? Amen? Si Jesus, ang rason nga nung giluwas ka sa ginoo, dili lang aron di ka maimpirno. But aron mo, 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 mahimo kang no, galamiton sa ginoo for His glory and the, the, the expansion sa kingdom sa ginoo, establishing God's kingdom here on earth. Na mahimo kang implementation sa atong prayer na Lord, let your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is being implemented in heaven. Amen? Hello? Iyong mong kinabuhi, no? gamiton sa ginoo. Ano mo nang gahimo taan eh? Kaya kung wala taka, no? wala gani na ito mahibawaan ng rason, wala na ito ma-uncover ang, ang, ang purpose, ikso on, I would quit. Ang quit na itong tanan. Ang dango ang tanan eh. No? If I haven't uncovered the purpose, dugay ra ko ni undang. Hello? Di lalim. Dili sa yun. Pero it's worth it. Nga naman, you have uncovered the purpose. Amen? Hello? Time is coming, ingon si Paul, that people will no longer care about the Bible and what God wants, but only to fill their own appetite. And it has already come. Because of sin, no, God made man in His own image from the very beginning. Pero nakasala man ang tao. Ang resulta, man made God in His own image. Naghimo na takaron. Og, og, og Dios in a, according to our own image, according to our own standard, dapat ang ginoo, ingon ani, no, labing mga siya, no, faithful mga siya, dapat ingon ani siya, no, dapat masabot siya. No? Anong kinanglan mga ginibato? No? We have made, mabitaw ng gana, no, 
Dagan mga tao ganahan mo worship o Jesus nga nagpabilin nga bata. Yan naman, offensive ang dako. Oh. Masuko man ang dako nga Jesus o wild party. Nito tong bata kay mapuyok ra man. Hmm, kuchi, kuchi, kuchi. No, I'm, I'm, I have nothing against ko. No? I'm not attacking religion. What I'm saying is, this is the reality now. Amen. We're creating God in our own image. Amen. And we are not exempted as Christians. We're not exempted as the church, as believers. And sometimes, mo yung unta, mo sabot raman ang ginoo. Nga di ko kabasag Bible, panagsara, kausara sa kabuan. It's not for God, it's for you. Amen? Establish the daan sa gino. No, if you are, no nga, 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 if you are faithful, no with 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 what is due unto the Lord sa areas sa imong resources, He will bless you. Ingon gani siya, try me in this. But kung dili ingon siya, you will be cursed. Establish na nga principle sa gino. Unsay atong ginabuat? Kasabot rin gino o eh. Actually, kita mo hindi kasabot. Hello? Amen? Luya man mo. By the way, nasabta na to, na-uncover na to, that God is our all, there is no, not, not too much nga pwede na to buhaton. Gani, tanan na tong buhaton. Hindi pa gani, maka, makatupong sa unsa gibuhat sa ginoo sa ato. Hello? Lord, I offered my life to you. Nangalagad ko ni mo ginoo. Yung anong ginoo, you know what? I have offered my life for you. I took your sin and your shame on the cross. Hello? Kulang pa when you realize and meditate on the things He has done for your life. Amen? Uncover the purpose. Not that God needs our service, but we need Him. Amen? Amen? Yung sa Proverbs 20, 28, verse 26, those who trust in their own insight. Nadia? Proverbs 28, 26. NLT. Yung those who trust in their own insight, on sa daw, are? Are foolish. So, dili sundalo, dili tanod, foolish. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> no? Foolish. Buang-buang. No? Ah, but may ngun. Ay, di na ko magbasag Bible. Uy, kay basig kasabaan ko sa ginoo. Mga sabak na po si Lord. Come on. You have even, even under, understood, you have not uncovered the reason why God sent His Word. It's for you to understand that He loved you. What's more than you could ever imagine? But those who walk, anyone who walks in wisdom is safe. And walking in wisdom means walking in, in, in accordance with the words again, you know, because God is the source of true wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Come on. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Sa ato as a church, dapat masabta na ito nga naghimo taaning mga butanga. Cell group, no Sunday celebration, trainings. Ganong kinanglan mo na? Ganong lisog-lisuron pa man ito itong salvation? <laughs> Gana igzoon, if you are able to uncover the purpose, kulang pa. Not that God wants performance, no. And it's not according to your performance. Anak, yung kasagi, no? But, Walay makalabaw. Ikso on. No, kung masabtan lang yun nato in response sa gugma sa ginoo. Come on. Hello? We do this because God has called us to establish and expand His kingdom here on earth. And gamiton ka sa ginoo. Amen. Ingin mo tapat. Gamiton ka sa ginoo. Verse 5. Ingin siya, but you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Ingin si Paul, you know what? Timoy. No? <laughs> there were people will no longer listen. No, Shiranimo, Ingnun Kagbuang. 
Ang magdala kag Bible, ing nun kagbuang. Sa una, red horse imong dalawa, gyo ka ing nagbuang. Tanduway imong dalawa, gyo ni tawag og buang ni mo. Karon hinoon nga Bible imong dala, ga apil kag cell group, ga apil kag Sunday celebration, ing nun kag buang naman di guru gabay. Apil na day ka ng mga warawara nila sa ibabaw. <laughs> Mga hallelujah, praise the Lord. Apil na ka na. Ngunit ikaw, usahay mo. Maulaw po ka ba? Ka, di, oy, trip-trip rin nga ako, bay. <laughs> Sabay-sabay rin mo. <laughs> no? ingon, ingon si Paul, yes, but keep calm. Ah. So, have a clear mind in every situation. Buti ba sabot, when we understand and when we uncover The purpose, sometimes we can be, no, we can be excited or we can be too overwhelmed. Ito ka po, yaw, naku, as trabahoon, ako, magsa-leader, come on. Because that's what God has called us to do, to make disciples. A disciple that makes disciples. Hello? Pero yung si Paul, don't react too quickly. Relax lang. Understand the process. The what? Naman tapat, the what? Amen? So don't get too overwhelmed. Understand the process. Know the what? After knowing the why, you have to know the what? Amen? So, mayroon ka, okay. So what now? Kasi akong buhaton. Nasabta na na ako. Nga muna'y katuyuan sa ginoo. Muna'y purpose sa ginoo. Then, unsa may gusto, no? Unsa may... On sa may finished product, you have to have, if, if dapat na kay correct na reason, you have to have a clear result. Dapat klaro sa imo daan, on sa may gusto buhaton sa gino. And then, when you understand on sa gusto buhaton sa gino, you will go through process. You will understand the process. Hello? Aron masabda na to. Kinsa sa inyo dre, nakakita, ug naghimog balay, ngaway plano. Ah, uh, sige bay. Unsa <laughs> atong buhaton? Ah, uh, himo tag balay. Okay. Kalot ka diha ako diri. <laughs> no. Onya na nato ni sa butag unsa on ta ni inig mahumanag bangag. <laughs> no. Buhos lang po ka diha, buhos po ko diri. Hello. Dapat ma, ma picture sa nimo, ma clear ma, ma, ma klaro sa nimo unsay resulta. Hello. Unsay gusto nga resulta sa Ginoo? A disciple that makes disciples. You understand process. So ayaw ka, ayaw ka overwhelmed. Ako? Mo share sa uban? No? E naman dapat process. Na process. Amen? Understand process. The what? On sa man, on sa may klarong resulta. Klaro dapat ang resulta. Before ka maghimo, no? Before ka mamanday, maghimo kag lamisa, na nakay picture daan sa lamisa. Aron makasugod ka kung sa'y dapat buhaton? Aa? Di man, di man pwede nga. Kung saan ay maghimo? Dipindi ras resulta. <laughs> Inana ba ito sa'y sa itong ginabuhi? Kung sa'y may mong plano ka ron, adipindi. <laughs> Yan ay mong guan, the what? Amen? So we, we should plan ahead. Amen? Kung ano gusto sa Gino? Klaro sa, actually, klaro sa Bible kung ano sa gusto nga sa Gino ang resulta. Amen? Hello? Klaro naman sa Bible. So muna ang ginaproseso ta, process. For example, no, sa mga manufacturing, klaro daan ano sa gusto nila nga produkto ay ha mag-manufacture. In fact, for some, naapagan ay prototype. Sakto? Kung sardinas imong gusto may tabo nga nakalata na, no? Dapat na picture na nimo daan, wala na siya'y ulo, no? naka na, naka no? Kumpleto na ang sauce para social, <laughs> no? Wala na'y ulo, no? Nakalata na. So paghaon ana, ready to eat. Right? Amen. Unsay imong bation kaong kag sardinas pag abli nimo sa lata pag yabo nimo na pay ulo 
Ang tawa gana na factory dipik. Hello. <laughs> right? Daghan kayo mga Kristohanon karon. Nga gusto og resulta pero dagkog ulo. Gihaon sa kalibutan. Dagko kay ulo. Daghan kay diri. Way aksyon. Wala na gikoy amigo. Hello. Amen. Napaktori dipik. <laughs> Pag naay gamay nga diferensya, na, 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 buti ti pasabot na ay failure sa process. Hello. Mo nang mo proseso ta. So, so we train ourselves, we get ourselves involved sa church, we get involved or no, we get ourselves involved sa cell group because we train. This is how we do things. No, this is how we disciple. We allow ourselves to be discipled aron kita bon mahimong effective to disciple others. Amen. Ina mo tapad process. Ano man clear naman ang resulta. Amen. Aron paghaon sa tuwa sa kalibutan, wa na tay ulo. Ready to eat. No, eh di mo lay factory di pick, no. Ano na kini na zud lay bay. Naligun kayo na bisa nun sa uno bali na diligun mabali tag jisra. Pag anak na balik man. Na nasigi na nan duha jis. <laughs> anak dia. No. The lesson? Say, mangita kita glosot just to justify our excuses. We have a lot of alibis. Arun lang ma-justify ang atong complacency, atong apathy, atong dili ganahan nga ma-involve. Na sige na lang Pastor God, sabot rabi tong ginoo, na factory dipik. Hello? <laughs> Naman dapat process. Amen? Understand the why. Why is it nga time's up na? Understand the process means we have a clear result in mind. Di ni mo ma-process ang usakabota ng hangtod nga dili klaro ang resulta. Amen? Sakto? No, for some of you, you're working sa no, mga, mga manufacturing na kumpanya. No? You know, process. No? And dili good ni mo dapat escape ang proseso. And there are certain standards nga dapat sundon. Kaya kung dili, well, di ka mo sunod sa standard. Ang resulta na, lain-lain, sukod na. Nailata nga puno ka ayaw, na apoy usar ka buksod. <laughs> Sakto? Sakto? Amen? Gani, kanang mga kuan, ila-ina. No? And sa atua, no? sa atua sa church, wala man, di man ta isulod og lata. <laughs> Ang natin process ginagian. Na apoy certain nga standards. Nga nung iswat man yun ang gibo. Standard. Pwede na, basa, basa lang. No? Basa lang, good. Ganun, disuro, disuro, man ginato itong life. <laughs> Come on. Process. Standard. <sighs> Dapat makita nato on sa ito as unahan. Taan. Amen. Proverbs 14.8, tingon siya, the prudent understand where they are going. But fools deceive themselves. You have to understand where you are going. You know where you are going? Have you understood where you are going? This is setting the, no, setting the things na dapat masabta na ito asa tapadong this year as a church. Amen? This year dapat na, na mahitabo sa itong ginabuhi. If walay mausab sa atong habit, ang walay mausab igsoon sa atong ginabuhat, the same. Magigit po yung mausab. Kadugayan igsoon, wala tayo buhaton, magka-age ta. Hmm. AIDS, ang imong dagway sumo. <laughs> Ayog sugot nga, this year, maorog ya po na imong tapad. Amen? Daghan ka ayaw na kinahanglan sa mensahe sa ginoo. Amen? Daghan ka ayaw nga parihan na to na kinahanglan o paglaom na gikan sa ginoo. Hello? Amen? 
Tinan mo tapat, bawal ang AIDS. Sige lang, Pastor, kaysa love, AIDS doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but I on verse 5. And so, don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work. No, in so, work at telling others the good news and fully carry out the ministry God has given you. Fully carry out. Meaning, nasabda na nato, no, na uncover na nato ang why. Klaro na ang what. Therefore, kung klaro na ang pra- what, nasabta na nato ang process, we need to utilize the plan. What does it mean to utilize? To utilize means to apply, to make use of the plan, or to operate, to execute. And the, the, word, no, the word utilize as the connotation exon, no, not to waste something. To utilize something means ayaw sayanga. Dili na to sayangon ng plano. Na ana klaro na ang what? Kasagaran masipyat sa application, sa discipline. In applying the plan, utilizing the plan. Amen. Ingon si si, si Paul kang Timothy, don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Nga naman, no, kung kung maninood ka sa Ginoo, naagyon nay opposition if you wanna utilize the plan. The plan of God in your life, God's agenda sa imong kinabuhi, naagyon na'y mo-opos. Naagyon na'y manaway. And naagyon na'y failure. Ma-fail man ta. Balik lang. Amen? Na kung na'y pagturi di pig, na'y balik. No, balik lang proseso. Tunaon na sagbalik atong pride, mold na sagbalik atong karakter. No. Hinahinayon na sagpuga atong ulo. No. Iba sig, tugga na po da garbo, nidako na po da tong ulo. Proseso. Amen. But, ayaw undang. Utilize the plan. Hello? Amen? Whew. Saan na lang ninako, paguman. Igzoon, walay mahitabo no, ng momentum if we will not work. If mag-implement ka sa plan, we have to keep on working. Yung si Paul, work at telling others the good news. And then dapat work. Kaya walay mahitabo ng momentum kung walay movement no na tay mga engineer diri na tay mga si Plong is math ang major di kay ko ana di na akong field may ko og math tulog <laughs> mo bitaw tong among maestro sa math sa una na man si Miko buhi pa man eh classmate pata sa una word na sa tawag ra gud ito si Jonathan ina sa hangin naglagot kay kunia ganun din gawas man sa sa klase <laughs> Pabalikar ko to siya dito. Diri? Ikan po si Pastor Eden. Hilantan ko na siya, sir. <laughs> Ni kalit lang kahilantan. Ito. So, manang hidunta. Kay kining mat, di lima ni Lisud. Practice ramang yun na siya. No. Nga naman na sa merkado, wala mo na sila mga eskwela, tanan. Pero nga naman, kung magpalit kag isda tag 130 ang kilo, palit kag 3 4 3 so man sila maka-answer. Practice. No. Utilizing the plan. Hello? You may understand the process and know how things work. Pero kung wala kay gibuhat, wala kay momentum po mahitabo. Amen? So kung dili ka mo involved, you know nga mo ni dapat mahitabo, mo ni intention sa Ginoo sa kuha. If you refuse to get involved, then wala may tabo. Wala momento mahitabo. Nya mangutana pa rin ta Lord, nga no man, hm? Ingon ng Ginoo nga no man tuod. <laughs> Pero sayo mahadlok ta man inuod sa Ginoo kay hadlok tag tinudon buta si Yawa. It's okay. Anang yawa yawa mang ginang yawa. 
Ang iyong trabaho, Ana, is to destroy, to, no, to, to steal, to kill, and destroy. That is his job description. But Jesus came so that you may have life and you may have it more abundantly. So mas lisod mga lagad sa yawa kay sa ginoo. Pagpili. Hello, amen? Ingin mo dapat ayo undang. Utilize the plan. Amen? Kay pwede exon, there, there are a lot of people that can explain in detail how things work. But dili ka in actual, wala. Nga naman, mag-grow imong, imong skill when you apply, when you get involved, when you get your hands dirty sa trabaho. Amen? As I mas sweeto, no, ang niswila o ang, <laughs> for example, sa mekaniko or sa engines or sa machines. Lagan kayo mga tao that can explain how a piston work, no, how, how, how a, a fuel pump works, no, on sa on sa combustion sa goan. They can explain that. Pero kabalo mo kung sa, kinsag yung makasulbad sa problema sa, sa makina, katong sigig trabaho makina. Bisagwa mo swila. Hello? Sakto? You want to grow in your experience with the Lord? Utilize the plan. You want to grow in faith? Then don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid about opposition. Don't be afraid about persecution. Come on! Ang church kani ato grabe persecution. Patay mang yuga. Kini sa ato ano, pamilya. Usahay, hadlok ta. Ma, 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 reject, hadlok ta. Maawayan. But never in a time nga niabot ta nga patyon ta. Sakto? Wala. Ito. Mm. <laughs> Hello? Amen? Utilize the plan. The how. No? So, for example, sa business, you may have a feasibility study on how feasible this business is, how, how feasible the income is. But unless, uh, 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 unless and until imo siyang trabaho on ang project, ay argue ka mo income. Why income mahitabo sa sige ni mog study, sa feasibility study? Amen. Nasabta ni mo ang importance sa devotion, sa word, ang importance sa community, sa body ni Christ. Ba't ka mag-apil-apil? Busy ko? Busy ko? No, I, I understand that sa mga professionals. Busy. Kapitahan na ka. No. Pila gusto ni mga tulog, pila ka oras. Walo? Pila ka oras ta in, in, in a day? kitang tanan na ay 24 hours. Sakto? Right? Gawas ang uban og na ay 25 diha panghatag pod. <laughs> Pero we all have 24 hours. Right? Paspasan ako ni, paspasan lang nako way. 24 hours. Ipatulog ta ka og 8 hours. 8 hours. Grabe labad na imong ulo anong ginatugoy. Di <laughs> taas ta kining 8 hours, sakto? Gawas ka tong mga nagtubo pa. No, pero 8 hours, sige. For the sake sa health, sige, 8 hours. Pilay na bilhin sa 24. Ha? Huh? Sure mo? Ang uban nagduha-duha na pag yung sure mo? <laughs> 16. Okay? Patrabaho on takag 9 hours. Appeal break. 9 hours. No? So 8 hours plus 1 hour na break. 9 hours. Pilay na bilhin. Seven hours. Ipa-travel ta ka, ipa-prepare ta ka, no, ipakaon ta ka, apil traffic, tagaan ta ka four hours. Kulang mo ng four hours, grabe sa nang toothbrush, oy. <laughs> 30 minutes, no? <laughs> tagaan ta ka four hours, including traffic, and in between ng mga kaon, ng koan. Tagaan ta ka four hours. Pili na bilin. Three hours. In a day. Sige, ipatanaw ta kagkuan. Ayaw lang na tanaw ng mga, mga halik, mga kuan. Ayaw lang. No. Tanaw kag 30 minutes. You still have 
2 hours and 30 minutes. Or given it 3 hours. Ang pangutanan ako, sa kanang extra ni mga 3 hours in a day, on sa imong gibuhat? BC. Iusa na ni mo tanan. In 7 days. You almost had a day. A complete day. Pilam na, 7 times 3. 21, sure? Ang uban nilingi sa tapot. <coughs> Mona, absent pa. <laughs> 21. You have 21 hours in a week na extra. Nakatrabaho na ka, nakatulog na ka, nakakaon na ka, nakaligo pa ka. 21 hours in a day. O pa'y labot na rest day ni mo. And bisa na lang o sa kauras every week na cell group. Oh, one hour nga magdivo In a day. O sa'yo mo yung tag busy. Hello. Kinsay owner sa imong kinabuhi. Kinsay owner sa imong time. Kining time na to, hinulaman raman po ni. Mag-decide ang ginoong akwaon niya itong oras. O sahay, naguna-una, takitay takiya sa itong oras. Come on. Kaya kung paundayo na na to ang atong excuse, duhajis lagi na. No? Nga naman, magsigitag excuse. Hello. Utilize the plan. Hang on si Paul. Last. Oh, last na niya. I'm closing in this. Leuco, verse 6 to 8. And she asked for me, my life has already been poured out as an offering to God. Musta itong kinabuhi? At the end, at the near end of the life ni Paul, ingon siya, my life has already been offered as an offering to God. Ingon siya, the time of my death is near. Kiklaro gin niya, the time of my death is near. Walay, walay figurative speech in siya, mamatay na ko. <laughs> Klaro na. But I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And have remained faithful. The end of your life, kana bitang wa kay kabasulan nga maing ka, Lord, I have done my best. I have finished the race. I have been faithful. And ingon din siya, the price awaits me. The crown of righteousness. Nga giandam sa ginoo. And dili lang giandam para nako, but every one of those who are waiting no, eagerly looking forward to His appearing. Can you declare tonight that you can be faithful? We can be going and attending and yet we can be complacent and unaware sa mga palibot, sa, sa tong palibot, sa tong community. The things that's going on in the world, in our communities. If we don't aspire for progress in our lives, there's not going to be a momentum. To have a momentum, there must be a movement. Velocity. Uh, ang, ang momentum good nag-involve og velocity o mass. Huh. In order to have momentum. Nagi movement. Ay naman tapad, movement. Hindi ka kabil og momentum if wala kay buhaton ng movement karon. Uncover your purpose. Discover the reason. And it must be, no, ang reason nato dapat ang tawag sa ginawa sa itong matagos sa kaginabuhi. And if you have already understood that, no, know what needs to be done and execute the thing that needs to be done. Amen? Usahay, no, most times we focus sa itong kaugalingon, atong concerns, what we eat, what we wear, no, what we will drink. But sa adaan sa ginoo, He said, seek His kingdom first and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added. It's, it's time for us to wake up from our slumber as a church. Kaya magka-aids ta. Wala na ko ipasabot. Dapat as a church, corporately, we dream of progress. We dream of bringing people back to sa Ginoo. Wa tay lain ng agenda kundi ang agenda sa Ginoo. I, I shared an, an, an article sa, sa group sa 
Blessed Hope sa Facebook. And it's about the case sa HIV sa Philippines. And it's getting higher. And the worst and the sad part is the cases that are involved are getting younger. Nagkabata. And we can't remain complacent. Ang akong challenge ito, uh, let us rise and redeem this generation. Redeem the workplace. Redeem the campus. Redeem your family. Dili pwede nga watay buhaton as God's children. It may be your first time, your second time, but I'm telling you, you know what? If you are offering your life to the Lord, God can do mighty things in your life. Ingundri, quote ni from, from that article, out of the 42,283 HIV, HIV positive recorded individuals in the country as of March 2017, 11,550 are from the age are from the 15 to 24 age group in the country. 15 to 24. That's just grade 8. Grade 8 to college or, or even professionals, young professionals. Inana ka bata. And the sad is, in, out of, of the 15 to 24 infected individuals in the Philippines, the DOH reported, in on ang DOH, 96% were infected through sexual contact. 6,196 said they had engaged homosexual sex. 1,357 in heterosexual and, and, and 3,5 in, in, in bisexual sex. They, this generation, giuran ang sex that supposedly should be honored. It's a gift from God that should be done in the marriage bed. We, this generation has defiled marriage and we can as a church we can just tita dapat matulog ang reality we have to wake up ang enemy karon ang yang ginadestroy ang next generation we can't remain complacent imong trabahuan iampo imong workmates iampo imong mga classmates iampo ikaw live a life that is pleasing to the Lord sanctified, different, living in accordance with the word sa Gino, for your classmates and your campus to be brought back there sa Gino. Dili solusyon sa gobyerno ang gikinahanglan. Ang gikinahanglan relasyon sa Gino. Hello? No, I, I just want to wake us up of this reality. You may say, ah, that's their life. Ano mag-apil-apil man ko dahil ilam ng kinabuhi? Yes! I have my own problems. Tapo ko'y kaugaling na akong concerns. Why bother? But you know what? Dili ka makapabilin nga, dili affected. Because if you remain complacent, if you remain apathetic sa atong sitwasyon, time will come. May involve ka, ka. Whether it be the next, your next generation, your children, or your children's children, can be affected kung wa kay buhaton karon so on let's repent of our complacency let's repent of our apathy let's come before God and say Lord I want to redeem this generation Lord I need you I need you sa akong workplace you know? Lord I need you sa akong campus Lord forgive me of the times that I I I I, I haven't been a good witness Lord, this time, I want to be a witness to my family. The enemy has been destroying the, this generation. And kung wa tayo buhato na sa church, ambo to kunsay abdan nga Pilipinas sa tong next generation. You have to fight. Not as revolutionaries. We have to fight in the spiritual realm and redeem, transform this nation one person at a time. Bringing them back to God, bringing them back to their original design, giving them hope. Imagine high school engaged ng mga nani. High school engaged ng prostitution. And cases sa Cebu, 
I'm not just talking about hundreds. We're talking about thousands. In fact, number one ng Cebu in cases sa HIV sa Philippines. We have to rise up. The church has to wake up. Have a passion for your generation. Have a passion for your campus. Have a passion for your workplace. You are there in, in, in that area. Sa, no? Gibutang ka sa ginoo for a reason. Gibutang ka sa ginoo ng society for a reason. The enemy has been destroying families. Let's restore them back. Amen? I'm not guilt-tripping here. I'm saying you know, we have to awaken our passion once again for the Lord and for His kingdom. Why don't we all stand tonight?